Okay, so this unfortunately is another dead seagull. Um, so I've just moved him out of the way of the traffic. He was uh, found on the road. But today I'm going to take a look at some of the features that I haven't shown before. So um, I want to take a look at this group of feathers here. So this is called the scapulars. So as you can tell, the top of the body, so this is the back, there's a, the wing doesn't go, doesn't have feathers growing all the way up to the, the body. Instead, to get the profile, as the wing stretches out, I'm going to stretch the wing out here, the, the part that forms this nice smooth surface is actually these scapular feathers and they grow all the way up from up here. And I'm just going to peel them away. Um, and they grow right from the shoulder. And you can see without them there's a gap. And this makes it easier for us to, to deal with the, the feathers coming from the wing itself, not interfering with the body. And it also means that this, this kind of layer of feathers will bridge the gap and make a smooth surface to the top of the wing. So this high point here, I'm just going to move around so you can see it, is the elbow, the front of the propatasium, is the membrane that goes all the way around the front. So this is, this is all uh, essentially a membrane of skin all the way back to the elbow and then up to the, the wrist. And then the hand is this little section here. So from this point to here is the hand. And from there, you also have control of the alula, which is essentially the thumb, but it's, it's alula means bastard wing. So what it is, is it's essentially, I guess, three or so feathers that can be deployed to do fine control of the wing. So fine control of uh, slow flight. So takeoff and landing requires these to, to be active. And then obviously you've got the, the primaries down to the end of the wing here. Um, and you've got the secondaries along oh, here. There we go. Yeah. Did he fly in the air or you just saw him there? Just saw him there. And then underneath there, there's the humerals. Um, which are these guys here. These humerals grow not from the bone, but from the top of the skin. But in seabirds, these actually grow quite long and end up uh, forming more of a, a wing surface back here. But the difference between the humerals and the secondaries and the primaries is that these guys grow from the bone these guys grow from the bone, so these guys grow from the hand, this from the ulna. These guys under here grow from the skin just above. And the, each one of these secondaries is a covert. So the covert is this row of feathers. So the covert pairs up with the secondary. Again, primary covert pairs up with its primary feather 